Hey Internet, Dan here with Empress Effects, and today I'm going to run down the advanced configuration options available on the Empress Tape Delay. In the advanced configuration, you can set a whole bunch of stuff that changes how you use the pedal and how it sounds. So first, here's how to enter the advanced configuration mode. Unplug the power to the tape delay, then hold down both stomp switches and plug the power back in. You should get a couple of blinks on the bypass LED that will confirm you've entered the advanced configuration mode. Once you're in this mode, the toggles let you set a bunch of different configuration options in the tape delay. This graphic is in the user manual and should serve as a good reference. Let's start with the bypass control. The tape delay ships as a buffered bypass pedal. In other words, your delayed signal will keep decaying after you hit the bypass switch. By moving the delay time toggle to the right while in advanced configuration mode, you can choose to use true bypass instead. True Bypass physically removes the delay from your signal chain and will cut off the delayed signal as soon as your pedal is bypassed. Another great feature available through the advanced configuration mode is the ability to use presets. By default, the tape delay ships without presets enabled. In the advanced configuration mode, you can use the tape age toggle to select between 0, 2, or 3 presets. Also in advanced configuration, you can write protect your presets using the modulation toggle switch. Once you've enabled presets, you can exit the advanced configuration by pressing down both stomp switches. You should get a double blank from the bypass LED confirming that you've left the advanced configuration and the pedal should boot up into its regular operation. With presets enabled, set the delay time toggle to either slow or fast. You'll notice that the tempo LED has changed colors. The color of this LED indicates which preset is active. Press the tap switch to change presets. There's green, red, and yellow, and the blink indicates delay time. When write protect is off, any changes made in a preset will be instantly saved. Once you've programmed your presets, I recommend going to the advanced configuration and write protecting them. Normally, the tape delay will have smooth transitions when changing delay times. There is, however, a mode we call blips that changes all that. In advanced configuration, move the filter toggle to the right to activate blips. Blips does two things. It changes how the delay reacts to changes in delay time and it changes the function of the tab switch when you're in slow or fast mode. Now there will be some crazy artifacts when changing delay times. The tab switch also does something cool. You can perform a factory reset to restore all the original settings back to your delay. While in advanced configuration, press tap, bypass, tap, bypass. The LED will do a little dance confirming that all the settings have been restored to the factory default. There is one more configuration change that can be made. The input headroom can be increased to accommodate a hotter input signal, such as a line level or active guitar, or it can be decreased to improve noise performance when the input level is lower. There's a three position dip switch on the PCB marked 0, minus 6 dB, and minus 12 dB. The switch is accessed by removing the back plate of the pedal. The pedal ships with this switch in the minus 6 dB position, which allows for an input level of plus 5.1 dBU. If the input level to the tape delay is especially loud, and you're noticing distortion under normal circumstances, you can increase the headroom by moving the switch to the minus 12 dB position. If the input is low and you like to increase the signal-to-noise ratio, 
you can move the switch to the center position. Well, that covers the advanced configuration options on the Empress tape delay. There's more information on empressfx.com, and thanks for watching.